All right, Shalom. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, 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 the one that said, Pastor Elder is a great millstone who will well. And peace and salutations to you since I came out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. Um, just wanted to jump into some scriptures hey, because we're still coming to that time. And um, here where I'm at, you just had a, uh, a police uh, a police officer, you know, went into a store and uh, it got shot up. And uh, I believe it was by Jake, you know, they didn't show his face or anything, but the particular neighborhood where he went to, it was an Israelite neighborhood, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of Judites in that particular place. And so, you know, these Edomites, you know, they walk through, they're starting to see, you know, the us as a people, you know, we're trying to rise up because that's eventually, you know, what our people always try to do. That's what they tried to do in the 60s until they were lulled back into sleep. And um, coming to that time when these Edomites, you know, they're starting to see that we're tired of being under their rule and we're tired of the, the, the wicked rulership. And uh, you go to the news report of the video, you know, showing the crime scene or whatever, and you got Jake all over there talking shit, you know, and Esau responding too. Because these Edomites, they're, they're, they're diehards for the... Uh, defense of the police force even though here and many other places just like here they just caught I think it was 20 police officers were suspended for making racial uh, and uh, derogatory comments uh, you know against of course against Jake and then Philadelphia they had the same thing also here uh, it, you, you have, and I, and I would guess this goes on everywhere that you have so-called black and so-called white police. Else, even so-called Native American police, whoever, because the police force was set up as a way to um, as a way to keep Jake in oppression. You know, just like King David, when uh, we we had Edom and the other nations under our rule. We had garrisons set up in their lands with those police. Those are the garrisons. You know, they come into your neighborhood. They have a little police center, whatever. They're, they're the garrisons. It's the same thing. So that Esau can keep control. You know, they can keep a, 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 a watchful eye on the street level. They can harass you. They can do all these things to exert power on you on a daily basis. You know, they can get that money out your pocket. They can catch you when you go 10 miles per hour over the speed limit. Hey, this is 2nd Edris 8 and 28. You know, because, you know, the things that we're doing right now are very important. And, uh, and one thing I was meditating on, man, the things of this world, they, they should never, it's a lock, they should never outshine the things of the truth, the things of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Is giving you through the spirit. Uh, this is second Edges eight and twenty-eight. It said, "Think not upon those that have walked faintly before thee, but remember them, which according to thy will have known thy fear." And there've been there've been many who walked faint before us, and we pray that we don't become those uh, who become faint. Let it not be thy will to destroy them which have lived like beasts, but to look upon them that have clearly taught thy law. And that's the middle of the Lord. We've clearly taught the laws, statute, and commandment of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, through the Holy Spirit. Is verse 30. Take thou no indignation at them which are deemed worse. Uh, let me see. Jump down, jump down, jump down. Ah, verse 27. That's what I was looking for, actually. Regard not the wicked inventions of the heathen. Salakia. But the desire of those that keep thy testimonies in afflictions. The desire of those that keep their testimonies in affliction. 
And the scriptures also tell us what? Behold, I have created the smith. You know, that, that prophecy. That prophecy that Ezra, that Isaiah, that Jeremiah, that all these great men were given a vision of. You know, this particular excerpt, Edris, uh, was the, the, an angel was sent to Ezra, Ezra and uh, he received these things that, that were going to happen. And, uh, you know, so-called Christians, they can always tell you that these are the last days, these are the end of the days, based on the things that are happening. Well, if they're the, in the last days, that's according to prophecy. So if that's according to prophecy, because the, the whole concept of there being last days, that's considered prophecy. So if if there's a last days, well, then the other things in prophecy, those also have to be true included along with that part of the prophecy. You can't have one small part of the prophecy without the whole thing. Everything goes together. Everything flows together between all the prophets, every last one of them. And that's that's one of the reasons why this book is the best-selling book in the world. There are no the book it never it never um, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it never uh, contradicts itself not once. But uh, going back to that particular verse twenty-seven, because right, uh, you know. Jake is on there celebrating, you know, it is what it is. The police, the officer got shot. He was at a certain place at a certain time. Could have been a dirty cop, whatever, whatever the story. But you know that these Edomites, they're going to they're, they're gonna retaliate. You know, they're, they're coming back in full force. They're not going to allow, hey, the scriptures say what? He'll come like a roaring lion. You know, especially where I'm at, surrounded by rednecks. Because this is a... This, this is a new law they want to say concealed weapons will be allowed in public buildings under proposal. So these Edomites, they want to be able to go where 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 <laughs> they want to be able to bring a weapon everywhere. And just looking at that, hey, the blessing of Esau was what? The sword. You talk about the Smith, you talk about inventions. This man has some crazy inventions. They got even amongst a gun with bullets. You got different types of guns. Semi-automatics, automatics. You know, you got all these crazy rifles and types of weapons and, and, and assorted weapons and bullets. And you know, some bullets they explode. Some of them got hollow tips, so they you know they expand and open up. Some of them turn into shrapnel. They travel through your body. Some of them, you know, they got poison in them. Uh, uh, what is it? They, they, well, they got poison them, so they'll they'll poison you. So it's all kind of <laughs> all kind all kinds of shit this man has, showing that he's Esau, because that's Esau's blessing, the sword. Okay, and Esau creates it; he's the progenitor of it, and then our people they copy it. You know, they, they like the song say, "Live by the gun, I'm gonna die by the gun. Live by the sword, I'm gonna die by the sword." That's why, that's why, hey, that's why that was said. You live by the sword, you're going to die by the sword. Okay, and and, that, and this man from day one, hey, it's, from day one these Edomites got to America, they've lived by the sword. From Christopher Colon, who was said he never put his sword down once. He never put it down. Hey, till now, these Edomites, they'll tell you, look, I never put my gun down. I keep twenty. Hey, well, let's let's check it out. Let's see what they got. Okay, because YouTube is cracking down on the Israelites. They're cracking down on us for speaking the truth. Coming at brothers' pages, trying to destroy the ministry that the Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai has uh, being stored up. Well, let's see what these Edomites got. Hey, because. Uh, uh, Iran, they just shot down a drone. Literally, they got they got warships, planes, all of this crazy shit. You got bombs going off. World War II bomb explodes 75 years later. Look at that shit. Still, you still got bombs that <laughs> that haven't fucking exploded yet from the last World War. Okay, and uh, uh, 
Look at this, man. This is this is spiritual, man. The news, you look in the news, you see spiritual things. We honestly have no explanation for floating objects. Could be chariots. I think they're saying they're weather balloons, but hey, you know, you never never know. They said, look at Humvees. They got new models of Humvees. Drones. All kinds of shit. More stealth fighters. <laughs> a new, uh, damn, another hypersonic missile. They just came out with a hypersonic missile. Now they got another fucking hypersonic missile. So, hey, this man, this man's specialty, you know, our people... When we fought in the ancient world, we were using swords, we were arrows, bows, and shit. Ancient world technology, that's one of the ways this man was able to defeat us. They came into uh, Africa. They uh, collaborated with uh, the sons of Ham, the sons of Ishmael, and of course Esau. And they came with that superior technology. They came with that, the blessing of that sword. And they, they put us in, in the captivity. Showing you that they're Edomites. And then they what? Dragged us into a place that put Egyptian pyramids on the dollar bill. And it has, um, and they still got them to this day. Las Vegas, Memphis. Got all these things of Egypt floating around. Every uh, metropolitan art museum you go to, if it's, if it's worth a damn, they got something from Egypt in it. Because that's what this place honors. This shit. They, they banning us. They coming after us. These Edomites got hundreds of guns. This gun, that gun. You know, I'm not gonna. This look, look how small it is. Showing you how much they got. All of these fucking guns. All of these weapons. You know, we're bringing out the word. That's why the scriptures also say what through. Um, because of great violence, the kingdom is translated from one to another. Talking about from Jacob, oh, excuse me, from Esau to the sons of Jacob. You know, they don't even get, and they got, you know, there's thousands of websites on this. You know, brothers were just telling me, you don't even have to register to, to get a weapon. You can go to fucking a gun show. These Edomites go to gun shows, boom, boom, boom. They can get shit off the record, they, or, or you know, they'll have a military buddy with some connects inside the army. Okay, going back to the scripture though, regard not the wicked inventions of the heathen, but the desire of those that keep thy testimonies in afflictions, because afflictions are coming. And, and, and one thing about it, hey man, if you don't have that mark that the scriptures talk about. You know, set a mark up on them that side and that cry. Shit, he, he, all of that's different stuff. You're going you're gonna to get fucking Swiss cheese. I mean, you got to have men who die as martyrs, men who died honorable deaths, you know, for for uh, uh, for the different works that they're doing, and they're going to be raised up. But then you're going to have a lot of Israelites who uh, they, they, they give up. You know, they concede. They give the faith up. Or they, they turn on their own brothers or, or, or whatever they do that's dishonorable. You know, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is going to destroy them. That's why the scriptures say what? Any any of those that be found with them shall be destroyed. Just like you got um, another another phenomena. All these different phenomena that the, the Bible, you know, matches up with perfect. You got, you got so-called the swirling thing, these black women... They get with Esau and, you know, they think that they're saved. They think that everything is good. You know, they, they think that, uh, if they, yeah, look at this shit right here, man. We, what the fuck? Hey, it's a lot of, but this is the man. <laughs> this man is the devil, man. Wait a minute. Okay, I guess they ain't gonna put that back up. 
they had an Eater Mike man, I, but I, but you know it's recorded. You could play it back. They had an Eater Mike man holding a little Israelite child. Anyway, though, man, you can go to YouTube too. You can YouTube what testing this gun, testing that gun, shooting this gun. <laughs> It's another verse uh, just came to me. It talks about those who are in the mountains, <clears throat> they're going to die too. You know, these Edomites who are in the mountains and the woods and they got a bunker set up or they got food supplies. They're going to kill each other. A lot of them, they're going to eat each other. They're going to be destroyed. Okay, because when that time comes and that death and that destruction comes, it's gonna, it's gonna seek. It, this is gonna be like times that have never been on this earth. You know, we can say it as much as we want to, but shit, <laughs> it, 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 until you actually see it and you feel it and you're in it, and and you know your mind is crying out, your body's crying out. It's, it's different. You know, that's why we sigh, we cry right now, and we continue to do so. And according to the will and power of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right? Hey, call along Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this is edifying, man. May brothers continue to cry out. May brothers continue to, to call on the name and the call for the destruction of this man and to plead with the Heavenly Father. So the one.